Hi, this is Scott with the Hollinger team. Welcome back to another one of our video blogs. Uh, probably the most common question I get asked is, how's the market? And uh, usually I try to uh, uh, narrow it down maybe a little bit more to their points of interest and if reflect on what I know and what I've seen. Uh, but I thought I'd start off this episode with a uh, report that just came out from Zillow. I uh, just got it uh, a couple days ago, and the, the headline kind of was an eye catcher, so I read the whole thing. And it was uh, the title to the report was Price Cuts Becoming More Common, Especially in the High End. And I thought, well, that's interesting because we've been seeing a little bit of that going on in our area. So I read through it. And it was kind of interesting because in the month of June this year, there were, of all of the properties in the uh, in Zillow that Zillow has of all the properties throughout the country, there was a 14% price reduction of the properties in Zillow. In other words, one in seven of Zillow's properties, all the ones that they are advertising, had a price reduction. Uh, they went on to explain that the highest one in the country, uh, which I guess myself and other people would probably think was a relatively hot spot with San Diego. San Diego saw a 20% price reduction in the month of June this year. Uh, basically one in five homes uh, that Zillow has advertised had a price reduction in June. So, um, And kind of the thrust of the uh, the whole report was that the the market's not shit, not turning and, and, and going down, but it's slowing down and in the pace that it's things have been going up and both prices and the number of properties that are selling. And that was the crux of it. And I've included a link with that of that for you. And there's also a graph that will show you uh, over a period of time, the uh, price changes in the bottom third of the price range. Uh, the middle third of the price ranges and the top third of the price ranges, so you can see some variation there, which then reflects on forward to uh, sales in the market. And they were saying also that kind of coupled in that because of the price changes coming in, that you see a reduction in the appreciation of values in the homes. It's not turning around, it's not going down, but it's just slowing down. The upper one third of the properties price-wise in Zillow saw a 16% price reduction, so even a little bit more than the whole overall average was uh, of 14. It went up to 16.2, which was up from 17, uh, 2017 June, and also the highest in um, of any of the Junes in the last five years. So certainly, uh, like the title says, there's a shift in the market. Things have, have changed some. We've seen... Um, in the Flathead Valley, we've seen a uh, what I would call probably a significant or actually a, you know a noticeable number of price reductions that have come through, even starting in July and then on to into August. And I think perhaps uh, people from other areas are seeing that same kind of trend in in uh, other parts of the country, and they're reflecting it onto something maybe they have here they're trying to sell. Or perhaps it's from fewer showings, fewer offers, and just kind of feeling the same thing that the rest of the country is seeing. Uh, it'll be an interesting thing to watch, and uh, I'll certainly be following it and probably giving a follow-up blog uh, soon on that, just so uh, you can see. And I can tell you, I was at a meeting two weeks ago in uh, Los Angeles of a gathering of real estate brokers from around the entire country that all sell. Uh, quite a few properties in all of their markets and the common theme was this is the new normal so uh, it's not just our area um, but the whole country is kind of just seeing a little bit of a, a pause from the huge surge that we've had for a number of years throughout the country and we've seen some here in the Flathead Valley so I uh, hope you enjoy seeing the rest of the article questions out of that or comments please feel free to reach out to me Thank you for tuning in to another one of the Hollinger video blogs. We appreciate your questions and your positive comments and look forward to another video blog for you to view.